Good afternoon, I'm Andy Sirota. In just the past couple of hours, investigators in London have named the attacker as 52-year-old British man Khalid Massoud. Police have also identified three victims of the attack, including Kurt Cochran of Utah. He and his wife were Melissa were in London to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. Bill Neely is in London now with the latest. Terror outside Parliament, this car a weapon used to kill and injure dozens on Westminster Bridge. The brutal attack caught on CCTV, the driver accelerating in a cycle lane, a woman diving into the River Thames, the car swerving onto the sidewalk. Anti-terror police say the attacker was known to them, but his name has not been released. Overnight, police in Birmingham, north of London, made arrests. Homes in London were raided too. Which continues to be borne out by our investigation that this attacker acted alone and was inspired by international terrorism. He had driven his SUV across the bridge towards Big Ben, mounting the sidewalk to hit pedestrians, many students and tourists. He reached one of the most heavily protected buildings in Europe, Parliament, and crashed before stabbing an unarmed police officer. Armed police then opened fire. Crowds running as shots rang out. The attacker was surrounded and disarmed, at least one knife clearly visible on the ground beside him. Fearing another attack, Britain's Parliament was in lockdown for hours. This morning, Parliament got back to work. We know that the victims include three French children, one Italian, one American. In London today, more police on the streets, but defiance too. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, said that the attacker was British-born and that years ago he was investigated by the Internal Security Service, MI5, over what she called concerns about violent extremism. But she said it was concluded that he was a peripheral figure and that he wasn't part of the current intelligence picture. He did act alone. So far, eight people being questioned about links to this attacker. Back to you.